Welcome to Banjo-Kazooie. This is a pretty good game. I like it a lot. I know a lot of people do. I'm gonna be playing through it. Anyway, the opening cutscene was pretty self-explanatory. Sister gets kidnapped. And, uh, this fat-ass mole is not very good at defending her. And this is a growing... The whole trend. Kazooie does not like bottles very much at all. Most people don't like bottles. Really, uh, egotistical right there. So here you can either choose to get uh, the basic moves automatically, or you can go and learn them manually. I'm I'm gonna learn them manually, just because show them off in order. It'll give me explo uh, an excuse to explore this area. And by the way, you can make talk be make people talk quicker. It's a feature that I didn't really utilize for that, because I want to show how slow and agonizing it usually is. So, our first move here is the camera, the controls, the C buttons, which is, I think, par for the course for uh, N64 games. And then they adapted it to be the uh, second... like, the second control stick uh, for most future consoles. Yeah, pretty simple playing story though. 
I don't see why that needs to be a separate move, and I don't know what I'm jumping up against. Oh, an invisible walls for some reason. You already look silly. This is my favorite move. Use it for going great distances. And I never call it the flip flop joke. I, I would always call it the parrot duck float because that sounds like what he would say. Kind of like how uh, Mario would say nut pickle when he answered a painting. Anywho, around Spiral Mountain here, there are six of these doohickeys, and they will add up to an extra honeycomb, which is the health. So I'll be collecting all those. Yeah, swimming controls could be better in this game. Like, it's not too much of a hassle that they're not, but uh, they're greatly improved in subsequent Rare Rare Play 3D platformers. Like, it's just more responsive in the future games. And also, it's, you know, a, a water controls in 3D, which still hasn't really been perfected, even in, like, Mario Galaxy. So. See, look at, how, look at how slowly he turns. It's irritating. Cool. Attempt to jump on out here. And here we go. Here are some rocks we can learn to bust up. Uh, this is a trend, by the way, in Rare War games. Everything has eyes. Even the hills. Oh, wait, that was Mario. Yeah. yeah, I don't use, uh... Oops, that's wrong. I don't use this move much, just because it's kind of a pain to do the transition into the crouch before attacking. I'd much rather just roll, which I haven't learned to do yet. Now yeah, set up on this hill. Yeah. Claw swipe and unroll. Claw swipe is also never used, ever. Carrots. This is, is teaching our youth something. So yeah, it's kind of not very good. Also, just it's kind of hard to judge how far you'll go. Whereas with the roll, you will go a much further distance. That's much, much more useful. Well, you are stuck into a, for uh, a forward distance, like you can't maneuver while you're rolling, which again was fixed in future games. Now this one, this one's like my favorite attack ever. Bam! So much better. It should be noted that any attack uh, using the beak is more powerful than one that uses the claws. It's just how the game works. Alright, see ya. Now we can jump off here. So the height of graphical capability of that, uh, that grass. Same kind of grass used in Kokiri Forest. And we still haven't learned how to climb trees. We should learn that. So yeah, once you learn how to attack, uh, enemies will pop up everywhere. And they're not threatening. They don't even bug you, honestly. Here you can use 
your uh, flutter powers. This is an extra life. This game actually does use an extra life system, unlike subsequent River of Black Warmers. Alright. Golly, well, we'll get out of my way. I can't believe he needs to be taught this, but yep. Come on to there. So yeah, Rareware likes to have you like go up on high places to show off its great graphical capabilities. And the fact that the N64 draws distance is kind of terrible. Anyway, once you get six empty honeycombs, you get an extra bit of health. And believe it or not, those six are actually optional. There are six extra honeycombs in the game that don't actually give you a new health, so that you can actually skip this area with no negative effect. But uh, whatevs. I'll be collecting all of them anyway. Alright. And if you try to leave before leaving, learning all the moves, uh, the bridge is broken. And that's the tutorial. Pretty inoffensive. Bye bye, Spiral Mountain.